Hi. Sup my people, Jax B the Ripper here. So we are back with another medal around the world. So remember when Big Dan said there had to at least be one North Korean band out there? Yeah, I owe him an apology. So we might as well add North Korea in here. I found one. Let me just dig out my handy dandy notebook here. So the North Korean band that I found is called Red War. The demo tape came around like around 2010. The songs that are on there are War with the USA and Stop Imperialism. Um, the voice was kind of like Nathan Explosion is almost and it is obviously underground. Very underground. Very underground that when you see the band members um, picture they all have like their backs towards the camera for a good reason. <laughs> They had a MySpace. I don't know if they still have it or not. Because when I read on MetalKingdom.net, they have said that they had disbanded already. I don't think I really have to go into an interesting fact about North Korea. I mean, do we really want to know any interesting facts about it? I do know they have a big pop scene out there. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I do know. And an interesting fact I found out about South Korea is they believe that a person is one year old at birth since they spent almost one year in their mother's womb which can make birthdays a little confusing for foreigners. That confused me as I was reading it. And in South Korea, the average alcohol consumption is 12.3 liters per year, putting this country as the 17th in the world more in the world's most alcoholic consumption. Way to go, South Korea. Live octopus is frequently, frequently consumed by South Koreans, which is disgusting. I've seen videos of that. Don't do that. Stop. And South Korea, along with um, Estonia, has the fastest internet speeds in the world. I fucking need that right now because I hate this damn internet um, that we have right now. Okay, now with South Korea. The first band I found was Wan. The lead um, singer has a similarity to like Bruce Dickinson's, at least that's what I read in the comments of all their videos. Um, and I kind of agree to a point. And the style is like more like the traditional side. They've been around since 1998 and they're still active. They have four length albums. Next band we have here is Ishtar, is on the heavy metal side, but with some prog symphonic to it. They do have two full length albums as well as two EPs. Mesmerize was a very good band in my opinion. They have like that progressive metalcore style to them. Um, they formed like around 2018. They don't have like really like any full length albums just yet. I believe they have like three or four songs. Um, they do have a YouTube channel, so I will leave like like always. I leave links as much as I can down below. This band to me has to like have to stand out the most to tell you the truth. Iron Board is pretty cool as well. Melodic power metal. They I believe they only have like one full length album out there. Infernal Chaos, Melodic Death Metal. Um, it's not known if the band is still around or not. It, it doesn't say active or split or anything like that. I checked Metal Archives. It didn't really say anything like that. Hopefully they're still around because their stuff was actually pretty good. Gaia, Korean Gothic Folk. This was interesting. The quality isn't the best, but... It'll do for you guys to like hear the sample of it at least. Zinkyok. Um, I don't I probably did not say that right. I am so sorry. But a lot of death metal. Um, they only have like one EP out, they don't have much. Um, so here's a sample clip. Metamorphosis. This is another band I couldn't find much on either. Um, their melodic thrash. They did have an FB account, a Facebook account, but it's no longer active. Foreign Legion, 
They split up, unfortunately. They do have two full-length albums. Method, this band is kind of like one of the popular ones amongst Korea and all throughout like the Asian countries. They have toured a lot throughout Asia. Um, they're kind of popular within like the rock pop scene as well. They're kind of labeled as more like on the progressive side. And currently they are working on their fifth album. And Diablo. This is one of the well-known ones too with Korea. They, they used to be groove metal. They started around 93. And it's definitely a band that like comes and goes a lot and they're still active to this, to this day but now they're more on the new metal um, slash metalcore style. Anyways, that is it you guys. Phone. Okay, that is it for now you guys. Thank you so much for watching. The next country up is Bulgaria.